to find out how often and where a particular Hebrew word is used in a particular chapter or chapters of the English Bible, go to stepbible.org. Step Bible. Step Bible dot o r g when you get there and mind the slow rural broadband connection so yours should be faster go to the passage you're interested in in this case we remove genesis 1 and we put in isaiah 40 since i'm currently studying the book of isaiah remember to press enter to register that reference the word I'm interested in is Ruach, which is translated by things like spirit, wind or breath. And my guess as to the first place it occurs is down here in verse 7. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it. And sure enough, looking down at the bottom there, this is the word I want. If I double click it, the word comes up here on the right and we have the option to search for this word. Double click that and we are searching for Ruach. Now I'm not interested in everywhere it occurs in the ESV or rather in the Hebrew that underlies the ESV. What I'm interested in is where it occurs in Isaiah chapters 40 to 42. So add the reference Isaiah 40 to 42. That's the one and enter. And it occurs twice in Isaiah chapter 40, once translated breath of the Lord, the other time translated spirit of the Lord. Both quite reasonable translations, but it's of interest to me that it's the same Hebrew word. It occurs again twice in chapter 41, where it's translated as wind on both occasions empty wind. The wind carries them away. Though that wind carrying them away might be an echo of the breath of the Lord blowing on it in 47. And it also occurs twice in chapter 42. I know there are no more because there's no uh, scroll bar here. And of course when I put my mouse over it, it drops out of sight. Searching for Hebrew words in particular parts of the Bible is just as easy as that. It really is. Why don't you try it? You'd be surprised what you can learn. Bye for now.